run. Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and it is August, which means that all the new hot summer blasters are hitting the shelves, like from Nerf, Busby, X-Shot, and Dart Zone. I was walking around my local Target and saw that they had stocked quite a few things, and man, I was tempted, but I resisted. But I had one thing I saw there that caught my eye, and I asked on Instagram, would you be interested in seeing me pick this up? And unfortunately, or no, fortunately, no, 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 unfortunately, People were very interested in that, and Instagram, them's the rules, got to abide by that. And so, for your benefit, I give you the Dart Rover. That is right, this was teased at Toy Fair, I believe. We didn't know when it was going to come out, we didn't know if it was going to come out. But here it is. This product claims to be able to pick up 100 darts. Quick pickup for faster reloading. Non-slip wheels roll smoothly. Mesh bag holds darts for easy retrieval. And an adjustable handle. Here are the instructions for how to assemble. You got that? Now some of you may not realize this, but in the Pacific Northwest, I am one of the primary game organizers for the uh, Pacific Northwest Nerf Club. And one thing that I like to uh, see if we can always improve upon is dart sweeps. They're important, they keep the area clean, they get our darts back, and I mean it's important for if we want to keep playing places and not just leaving a mess. Plus, you pay money for darts. And some people just can't dart sweep like others can. This may actually be a solution. We have the nut gatherer, the garden weasel, whatever, you know, what Out of Darts showed us that is really easy to pick up rival rounds and maybe some miscellaneous darts too. And then there are little claw mechanisms that you can reach down and pick up individual darts. This one actually advertises the ability to pick up you know, standard nerf darts. If it works, this might be something that I can hand off to someone when we're doing dart sweeps who may not usually be able to do dart sweeps and actually contribute, which is all around a net positive for all of us. So I thought at one point I was gonna have to say, this is the part when it's fully assembled so you can't really see it, so let's go to the field for our field test. This is small enough to fit like all in screen. Fun complaint every time you hit the button to adjust the height. Well, oh, button moved. Well, oh, button moved. Oh, button moved. I don't know, the wheels are kind of stiff and they're also pretty much just rubbing up against the plastic that is this housing for the rotation mech. All right, there's not much more that I can show you here. So let's have the real testing begin. So the Nerf Dart Rover has proven that it does not like a lot of surfaces. From where we're playing today, it picks up almost anything in its path except for darts because it'll pick up a bunch of dart first, um, to grass, which is kind of unfortunate. I thought nice trimmed grass would be really good for this, but it's just too close to the ground. What it is okay with, and I can literally run with it on, is paved ground. So asphalt, hardwood floor, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to compare this to three other forms of picking up. I have 50 darts that I'm going to drop on this paved ground and test with the dart rover. I'm also going to test it with the tried and true nut weasel, nut gatherer, garden weasel, whatever you call it. This just little grabby picker upper thing. See? Pinch pinch. And then I'm also just going to pick them up with my hands because, you know, I do that often. We'll call that like 25 seconds. Obviously I picked up some handfuls, but a reasonable amount of time. Let's say 30 seconds just to be real, real conservative. No, I'm not finishing that. Uh, this one is good if you need to pick up darts that are kind of in the weeds, maybe a little bit out of reach as well. This is very great for reaching to places that you may not actually be able to with your regular arms. but. Uh, for casual pickup with a lot of darts like this, probably not ideal.
So the garden weasel is a lot better with picking up rival rounds. With darts, it can be persnickety, and a lot of times when it's trying to grab new ones, it just flings other ones out, as you were probably seeing just now. It works all right. I mean, obviously here I got a good number of darts inside of these tines, and then when I'm done, I just spread them open and I get them all back out, but it's uh, maybe not ideal for this surface too, because it is pushing them everywhere. And the rover. All I have to say for this kind of ground, the rover wasn't actually the worst out of all these things. It did seem to keep actually feeding darts inside, but it also launched them. And you know what else it did? It was ripping some of these really, really badly. Next up, we're going to try some rival rounds, rival style ammunition. Keep in mind, this surface is slightly inclined too, and this wind will make that even better. But let's just do a quick pick up by hand. So at a reasonable speed of picking up about one or three balls at a time, it still clocked in at about 30 seconds, give or take. So that was a very slow but reasonable enough speed. This grabber is good for one individual ball at a time, really. Still a little tricky, but if you are needing to not reach down all the way, this is a perfectly reasonable tool, but I'm not going to pick all of these up. All right, now we'll try the garden weasel in all of its glory. And go. Yep, this is where it shines. About 20 seconds, that's all the balls, nice and contained. Very few are actually being kicked away by this. It depended on how hard I was pushing it into the ground as well, but the harder you push it into the ground, the more likely the tines are to open. And last but not least, let's try the dart rover with rival. Oh dear. Well, it took about 50 seconds to fill this back compartment up. And again, there were a lot that just, when they came through the tines, they just pop right out and they shoot out the back of this. Now, a couple of balls at a time is usually all right with this, but when you start going over some heavily uh, saturated areas, it gets really stuck. That was perfect. Why was that perfect? My back would be okay if this arm was a little bit longer. Luckily, I'm short, but Man, I'm, I'm still bending over and not having a great day. And now we'll check and see with some mixed ammo. Okay. This is not an uncommon scenario, right? The mix of darts and rival rounds, and these pockets just absolutely jam this dart rover. And I can see as well, some of these heads have been ripped right off. These were all fine darts. The most frustrating part is when it actually does go over and pick something up and then it just launches it out the back. When it works, it's actually really nice, but when they just continue to shoot out the back, or they jam the thing up, or they just destroy your darts, it's like, why would I pay $30 for this? Why would I pay $30 when I, I could just do this by hand and ruin less of my darts? I don't know. After a full day of testing, let's wrap up with some final thoughts on the Nerf Elite Dart Rover. And all I have to say is I'm disappointed. Obviously, that should have come across with much of the testing. It does work sometimes. Sometimes this little thing does actually just fine with darts and with rival ammo, but nothing bigger than that will work. Boomco was meh, um, and half darts were hit or miss too. That said, that 20% of the time that it does work 
<laughs> the other 80% of the time are most cases. The Dart Rover basically demands that you have an ideal smooth surface with no elevation changes, no bumps for it to function at all. And for some people that's gonna be fine, like if they're indoors or I have another event later this month where I'll be sure to try it on an indoor library. So this floor may actually be perfect for the Dart Rover, you know, very uh, low carpet. But any hills, grass, you know, um, fields, this gets caught and it gets stuck. And if you're running with it or you're trying to run it with it on grass, you will trip and fall and um, possibly die, but not proven. And everywhere else, like most of the games that we play are on moderately bumpy field, but any bit of dirt, any pine cones, any debris on the ground, this thing will get majorly stuck and you will be able to literally pick up nothing as a result. I can't bring this to most of the games that we have, so that's a, a bit disappointing. And no one wants to use it when it's this short as well. And when I check online right now, I see that the Garden Weasel is available for less than $40. This being $30 retail, I would happily pay $10 more for something that actually works more often and works on a variety of surfaces because this is super limited and super unreliable and that's just a no-go. So I can't recommend this to anyone when something like that seems way more uh, practical in almost every scenario. The Garden Weasel is still not perfect, so the hunt for the perfect Nerf ammo picker-upper is underfoot, or is afoot. <laughs> the darts will still be underfoot if you don't have a perfect picker-upper. I'll keep testing it until I die, or until, until it dies. So this will die first. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me know if you've unfortunately picked one of these up, what you think about it, or if you've tried it somewhere that I may have not thought about trying it. I would be interested to know. Take care, everyone. I'll see you later.